here in Daytona, the regular season finale. Two spots remain in the playoff grid. It is a must-see race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Every time we have the race in here, it is intense. Once again, they'll be racing here in May in Indianapolis at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's an honor and a privilege to call anything here at the world's greatest race course. We're into our race broadcast. Hello, everybody. It's John Heindorf and Jeremy Shaw. 61 cars have rolled out of the pit later. My name is Harry Benjamin. We're here at Silverstone for the 10th race of the F1 season. It's the British Grand Prix. Larson goes to the top of the racetrack. Hamlin is right there. He looks to the inside. Larson gets a piece of the fence. Here comes Jenny Hamlin. They're side by side. Larson pushes the wall again. Well, Hamlin gets into Larson. Larson's in the fence. Hamlin will make the move. They slide down the front stretch. Almendinger gets out of shape. Cindric leads, but here comes Allgaier. Here comes Almendinger. Three wide off turn two. AJ Almendinger with the race lead. Cindric is the second spot. Allgaier is third. A.J. Allmendinger down to the stripe. Cindric runs into Allmendinger at the stripe. And it is going to be A.J. Allmendinger winning the race. His car is now destroyed in turn number one. But A.J. Allmendinger has won the Food City 300 and he has won the Xfinity Series regular season championship. Take a deep breath, everybody. This has been a long time coming. Many of us never thought we'd see it in our lifetime. Convergence is real. And the 24 hour starts right now. We are racing for the Ibsen WeatherTech Sports Car Championship in the 61st running of the Rolex 24 hours of Daytona. Newgard moves the third line, and it looks like Rosenquist just tagged the wall, Michael. He's into the wall. Billy's Rosenquist spins. He'll slide back into traffic. He'll clip Kyle Kirkwood. Kirkwood goes upside down. Kirkwood slides around the outside retaining wall. Oh, my goodness, what a horrible crash. It's all eyes to the lights and foot to the floor as we go racing in Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. And it's a poor start from Max Verstappen. Norris takes the lead into turn one. Piastri tries to fight his way through as well, but Verstappen elbows back past. It's Norris who leads here in the British Grand Prix. Leaning on each other, here comes Noah Gregson. They are three wide. Larson has to bail out. Gregson now will dive to the bottom of the racetrack. Green is in the wall. So is Larson. So is Gregson out of turn four. All of them bouncing off the wall. Who's going to get their car back to the line? Checkered flag is out, and Noah Gregson wins at Darlington Raceway. Here comes Noah as well in the number 13, the black and white car. Oh, there's a spin. Matthew Dirks has gone around. This is going to be another big one. Huge incident. Oh, Huge that's, incident. That's Woody Hyman. Hyman getting kicked around with all kinds of debris. Oh. Erickson looks to the inside, looks to the outside. New guard. Martin has a two-car length lead. Advance Auto Park, quick checkered flag in the air. It's the battle at the start finish line, and Joseph Newgarden will win the Indianapolis 500-mile race. Danny Hamilton, he finally gets the monkey off his back. He got the monkey off his back. Huh? It's all ice to the lights and fit to the floor as we go racing in Japan. It's been a decent start for Fernando Alonso further back at Esteban Ocon, but it's Charles Leclerc who's going to get the better of Max Verstappen, or is he? Verstappen holds on around the outside into turns one and two. He's keeping his foot in and just about regains the lead from Charles Leclerc. He's only a half a car lead back. Jimmy Johnson looks to the inside of Martin Truex Jr. They dive into the chicane. They touch. Jimmy Johnson spins. Martin Truex Jr. gets hit by Johnson. They are both spun out. Here comes Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney will survive and win the Bank of America Roble 400. What a finish.